Hey everyone, this is Max. In this video, I want to show you the various ways a workflow can be invoked. So you're looking at a folder. I have nine workflows here. And the type column will help you see um, actually how a flow is invoked. So there are four ways a flow can be invoked. Um, first one is a schedule. Then we have a helper. Then we have app event. And then we have an API. So there are the, these are the four ways a flow can be invoked. So let's look at each one. So first one is a schedule. And what this does is this is a, a scheduled flow card is that a flow will be invoked periodically. Um, if you click this little clock icon, um, you can configure how often a flow will be invoked. So you can go as often as five minutes right here. And there's some advanced options. So again, you can figure and the flow will be invoked automatically, you need to do anything. Um, so again, five minutes can be every hour, can be every day, every week. Um, so this is the uh, scheduled flow. So this is one way a flow uh, will be invoked. And again, it's invoked automatically. So let's go back. Now, next one is a helper. So this is this is a helper helper flow. And what this means is that you need to create another flow to invoke this one, all right? So this is, for example, useful for if you have a for, like a loop for each uh, logic. So you could have a helper flow that would iterate over a list, for example. Well, let me give you a quick example how you would invoke this flow. So this is the card helper flow. And um, it has two inputs. So you, you define how many inputs um, a helper flow would have. Well, let's go back. I want to show you uh, how you would invoke. So let's call um, call helper. Uh, again, this particular flow is again is a scheduled flow. But again, what I will show you is how to uh, invoke that helper flow at function, and then flow control, and then call flow. And then you choose a flow. And we select it. And all right, and that's it. All right, so that's another way a flow can be invoked. And again, in this case, this is a helper flow, so just a bit, a bit different. All right, let's go to the next one. Next one is an app event. And so what this um, means is that um, you connect this flow so to a, um, another application. Or, or another connector. And what it does is that it listens to an event. And once that event occurs, that event will trigger your flow. So in this particular case, this is um, Octa's user suspended. So once a user is suspended in your Octa organization, that event will fire and then in, in turn will trigger this flow. Okay, so that's, that's how it works. So again, this is what is uh, called an app event. And there are many different events um, that you could uh, you could use. Uh, I can quickly go back. Well, actually, let's go back here. Um, let's create a new flow quickly just to show you an example. So there are a lot of different apps. And most of these apps, again, fire events that you can use to start a flow. All right. So let's go back. Um, now, the last one that I want to show you is the uh, API one. And the way this one is invoked is that via uh, an API endpoint. Uh, so this is the card API endpoint. And then here it shows you the uh, API endpoint settings. So I made this one public. And then this is the URL to invoke um, this API, which in turn then invokes this flow. Let me show you how it looks. I have it right here. Um, I have one parameter here, greeting. It says hi there. All right. So I just called this API, which in turn invoked the, the flow. And then we can see right here, I sent a message to Slack. All right. Um, so that's it. Again, so there are four ways uh, scheduled. There is the helper uh, um, app event and then finally an API. So there are four ways 
you can invoke a flow. And again, um, you can use the type column and you can actually sort uh, by it. Um, it will help you see um, sort of what type um, of a flow it is or how the flow is invoked. So um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.